Back with another Legacy Pack opening here, this time a Zendikar Intro Pack, Unstable Terrain. Um, it's got a 60 card deck and one booster pack of uh, Zendikar with uh, one land in there with your full art, uh, just like the World Wake. Uh, but the, the rest of the land in the, the deck is uh, actually more rare than, than the, the full art lands, um, but yeah, not nearly worth as much. So going right in here, um, Sphinx of Drawer Isle. Flying with Shroud, you may look at the top card of your library. Five, five, four, and two blue. A little guides here. And uh, you know, let me know what you guys want to see open. I've got some a bunch of dragons made stuff I'm gonna be opening. I've got a few of these uh, packs here and um, a few booster boxes and a fat pack or two to open as well. So how to play guides there. You get your foil. Swings of your aisle. Okay, mining control. All these will be M10 cards and in the World Wake or Zendikar block. Um, I'll read through the rares and just gloss through everything else. So mind control, harrow, paralyzing grasp, two of those. Aya Ruin Expedition, Giant Growth, great art there, that, that looked that look great on a t-shirt, Unsummon, Royal Elemental, spelled R-O-I-L, 3-2, 6 drop, Flying and Landfall, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may gain control of target creature for as long as you control Royal Elemental. Well, that's a royal pain in the ass for uh, your opponent. Baloth Woodcrasher. Territorial Baloth. Living. Th that's tsunami. Uh, Windrider Eel. Win two of those. Turn Timber ba Basilisk. 2 1 for 3. Greasing Gladeheart. Looks like uh, Voice of Resurgence says boyfriend there, doesn't it? Merfolk Wayfinder, Gomazoa, Frontier Guide, Sage Owl, Coral Merfolk, Merfolk, Terramorphic Expanse, and then our mana base, well, the rest of the mana base here, Seven Forest, Ten Island. So on to the Zendikar booster pack here. If you get a shock, you know they're worth twenty. Excuse me, a fetch, uh, fetchy, twenty bucks maybe in the mid range. Maybe worth a little more than that. Skyrun Drake. Journey to Nowhere. Highland Berserker. Adventuring Gear, Core Sanctifiers, another card you can put right into the deck here, Spire, Spire Barrage, Caravan Herder, Herder, Seismic Shutter, Kraken Hatchling. I bet you could find a good use for that. I mean, that's that's just a blocker. You can get them out real early. Not a highly sophisticated card, but something that you could just plop down on the battlefield. I, I might even just throw that in the deck just because it's so low cost for what you get. And it, notice it's not a uh, defender. Belloth Cage Trap. I'll read off the uh, uncommons here. Five drop. If an opponent has an artifact enter the battlefield under his or her control this turn, you may pay one and one green rather than pay Belloth Cage Trap's mana cost. And it's an instant. Uh, put a 4-4 four, four green beast creature token onto the battlefield. So this is great if they're casting an artifact creature with haste, but otherwise it's pretty. <laughs> that's a pretty esoteric uh, uh, situation that you'd, you'd be able to use that appropriately in. Windborn Charge. 4-drop sorcery. Two target creatures you control each get plus 2 plus 2 and gain flying until end of turn. Short-lived. Expensive. 
I mean, it does something for you, but um, I can't imagine a, a, what kind of deck you'd use that in. Uh, Grey Pelt Refuge enters the battlefield tap. When Grey Pelt Refuge enters the battlefield, you gain one life. So like the opposite of a fetch land. Add green or white to your mana pool. And it's a land, but not a fetch. Valakut, the Molten Pinnacle. This card enters the battlefield tapped. Whenever a mountain enters the battlefield under your control, if you control at least five other mountains, you may have Valakut, the Molten Pinnacle, deal three damage to target creature or player. That that sounds great if you put it in, um, you know, when you have your fifth mountain out, and then anytime you can play more mountains after that. So it's a great mid to late game card. Um, but uh, you know, what kind of archetype you going to build around that? So, and there's your full art, Iceland, and a beast token. That's a cool looking dude, huh? All right. Uh, thanks for watching.